Warning, I, Dan Lanks, am going to completely blow your mind during this Minecraft video. So if you enjoy console Minecraft, hit that like button and subscribe for more block placing awesomeness. Hey, what's up guys? It's Dan Lanks, and I am back again for my very first episode of House Tours of Los Angeles. So this was one of my most prolific series on Danville, and it is back in full force here on Los Angeles, my brand new map. So the first house we are going to be touring on, you know, house tours of los angeles is this one right here and um this is the house that you know i had on the landscaping tutorial for the front yard um i think some of my subscribers have seen glimpses of this one but this one is should be new to most of you and this is kind of a pretty cool little house here on the on the ocean so uh you know i'll just take a quick sprint spin a little spin spin whatever on the outside this one took me a little while to build because I just wanted to make sure that the first house of this map was some of my, uh, like, you know, really good work. And um, I thought it turned out the, the way I wanted, you know, like a kind of like that traditional look to it. Um, and, you know, kind of touching, adding the environmental touches just to make it look, uh, I guess, pretty. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a spin on the inside, you know, just tour it. And, you know, that's just give you guys some inspiration. So... Again, first house that I built on Los Angeles. So let's go ahead and take an inside look. So this is the front door right here. That goes to the garage. We'll check that out later. But, you know, the inside is a little bit tiny. Um, you know, I tried to make it cozy in here. So, you know, here's the front foyer. There's a little table here. Here's the staircase that heads up. Um, this is a hallway that, again, like I said, this is the garage. I don't have a car in here right now. Let's just say the owner is out run some errands. And this, again, this is the door that leads out to the front porch. So... Again, there's the garage um, right here. This is a hallway bathroom. Uh, you know, you know, miscellaneous uh, decorations and things like that. That's actually pretty funny having like the creeper painting and then like an actual creeper head right next to each other. Kind of like it. But uh, anyway, here is the master bedroom on the first floor. Um, probably the derpiest uh, ceiling light you'll ever see. Floating trap doors. Why not, right? Just, just have fun with it. Uh, here's the fireplace that actually sticks through to the living room. You know the bed it's looking pretty cool right i like it you know i'm using a lot of the, the new stuff in this in this build like the upside down stairs on the end table this right here is a walk-in closet and nice nice pretty view of the backyard all right what else we got here we got the master bathroom pretty small didn't have room for a toilet which is kind of unfortunate it's like the one flaw in this entire house's plan but eh, what are you gonna do no no toilet for the master bedroom he could just go down the hall to this bathroom if he needs to so yeah i mean that's probably the one flaw in this plan but you know can't nothing could can be perfect so over here is uh the kitchen area again here's another bathroom for the kitchen you know random things just to make the house look more detailed this is the pantry it's got some shelving in here you know your standard like closet you know refrigerator here's the actual kitchen itself some furnaces here and uh, it looks pretty good so you know a little table for breakfast that leads out to the back porch and if you walk through here this is the living room space so we got a couple of like nice love seats here to like just kind of gaze upon the fire at nighttime very romantic <laughs> and uh, over here is just a couch for TV so that's pretty much that is uh, we'll head out on the porch real quick again not a lot on the porch or the backyard really at all I try to keep it pretty neat and tidy I guess mowed lawn the porch doesn't have too much stuff on it but over here there's actually a hot tub and this is actually one of the coolest hot tubs you'll ever see um well no not really but you know what i mean um i actually made like the water uh running just to make it look like the whirlpool was on and there's actually again fire underneath of the hot tub which makes like that smoke so it looks like it's hot obviously since it is a hot tub so that's kind of a cool idea cool idea inspiration for you guys um yeah that's pretty much what we're looking for here there's a little gravel pathway that goes up to this hill to another more natural hot tub. <laughs> you know, just having some fun with random things. Little tree right here. Uh, over here is the, uh, I guess the little private beach that this person gets. Very rich, uh, rich person who lives here. And you know, I tried to make like a little gazebo design, like a curved thing coming off the end of the house, like a connected gazebo. You know, just having some fun with some different designs. And I think it looks pretty awesome. So, hopefully you guys get some inspiration from this. 
Alright, so uh, that's pretty much it for the downstairs. The upstairs, there is a couple floors. There's a second floor, and then there's also a third floor attic. So we'll come on up here. And right off the bat, you know, we have a little sitting area in this corner. You know, some random stuff. Uh, over here is another TV space. Looks pretty good. Over here is just a hallway that heads down to a couple benches, which actually has a beautiful view of the ocean. Which is great because, you know, in Danville, it's a super flat, so all that would be just random flat land. But in this map, it's an ocean, so that's awesome. Here's like a storage attic space, kind of. Spider webs and stuff like that. So that was Steven's idea. Pretty cool idea. And in here is a little bathroom for the upstairs. So that's cool. And we'll continue over here. So let's go this way because there's actually a door over here. This leads to a small office. That overlooks some of the land. And in here is a little extra bedroom. And this is one of the funniest things I've ever thought of. I was feeling a little bit wacky one day. And I made a water bed. Like legit a bed made out of water. Like it is literally a water bed. So <laughs> if you're willing to do that kind of stuff, feel free to take this. Because I don't know what got into me when I thought of that idea. But I actually love it. So <laughs> um, just some inspiration. And what else can we look up in here? Uh, there's empty... Oh yeah, that's right. Here is the upstairs. This is like a guest loft. Again, in our bed. And a bathroom for the guest. So I'm not really sure how many bedrooms and bathrooms are in this house. I haven't counted. You guys can count if you want. I don't really care, honestly. Um, oh, out here is the the like the top, I guess, like the balcony above the porch. You know, we got a little table up here. Um, that's actually a mistake. I gotta fix that later. That that stairs should be curved. And then a couple sitting areas with an umbrella that looks over the endless ocean. So that's awesome. I just love that. How there's oceans on the edges of the map. I know I'm just I, I like it because I've just been building on a super flat for so long and it's just really refreshing to build houses on a map that isn't super flat. Just I don't know. So last thing we need to check out is the basement. Really simple. There's just one room down here. It's just a theater with some surround sound and like a big storage closet. So that's pretty much it for this house, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, first house of Los Angeles by me. Many more to come. Um, obviously, I'm having a lot of fun building on this brand new map. And again, I really appreciate you guys uh, coming along with this tour with me of this first house I made. Uh, many more to come. I'll have some more in this neighborhood very soon to tour for you guys. Start working on some new houses very soon. And, um, you know, until then, guys, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you click the like button if you did enjoy it, if you got some inspiration. And if you liked that waterbed, make sure you slap that like button, I guess. I don't even know. But, uh, guys, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the continued support. And as the sun sets here in LD, I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.